Hey, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now going to answer question number 10, which is the final question from the P2 International A-Level at Excel 2021 January paper. And this question here is about series and sequences, and it's like a worded problem involving them. It says, Owen wants to train for 12 weeks in preparation for, a, for running a marathon. During the 12-week period, he will run every Sunday and every Wednesday. On Sunday in week 1, he will run 15 kilometers. On Sunday in week 12, he will run 37 kilometers. He considers two different 12-week training plans. In training plan A, he will increase the distance he runs each Sunday by the same amount. Okay, so this sounds like an arithmetic series. So he's going to increase it by the same amount. It's like This is like a common difference. Every time he has to add the same amount every week. Calculate the distance he will run on Sunday in week 5 under training, pl training plan A. Okay, so we have um, the following situation. You have the first week, the second week, the third week, the fourth week, the fifth week, all the way up to the twelfth week. Right, 12 weeks. And it says here, um, on week 1 he's going to run 15 kilometers. So this is like the particular term. This is the this is the term. This is the value of that term. So u1 will be 15 kilometers. On week one, he's going to run 15 kilometers. So that's 15. We don't know any of these, but we know that the last one here is 37 kilometers. Okay. So we got to work out what this value is going to be over here. What the, what the amount he's going to run on the fifth week is. So we can see that this is an arithmetic series. It's arithmetic because he's going to increase by the same amount every time. So this is arithmetic. So in, in that case, we know the formula for the particular term, the nth term, is equal to a plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, and we know what the last term is, and we know what the first term is. Okay, and what we can do here is we can say, okay, I know a is 15. I know that the number of terms is 12. Okay, um, the common difference is what I have to find. And I also know what the 12th term is. That's 37. Okay, so those are the things that I know here. So I can use this formula to find the value of d. That d is a question mark. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um put in the values I know I know I know this is u12 which is 37 I know a is 15 I know n is 12 and I want to find d knowing d will help me find what the fifth term is so I've got 37 minus 15 is equal to 11d so I can say that 37 minus 15 is 22 is equal to 11d Therefore, I can see d is equal to 2. So that means the fifth term is going to be, if I use this formula, the first term, which is 15, plus 5 minus 1, which is 4, times 2. So the fifth term is going to be 15 plus 8, which is 23. So that means in week 5, in week 5, okay, he runs, he will run, 23 kilometers okay so that's part a done now for part b it says in training plan, plan b he will increase the distance he runs every sunday by the same percentage uh -huh. okay so now this is gone this is a geometric sequence this is now geometric because you have to increase it by the same percentage so 10 percent more than the week before um, so it's going to be multiplying by the same amount each time for example i'm just giving an example of 10 percent now so we know here that a geometric sequence is given by the nth term is a times r, which is a common ratio to the power of n minus 1. So we know a was 15. We know that um, r is what we have to find because we want to find the fifth, fifth week, week 5, right? Um, we, know what, um, um, yeah, we know what the nth term is. It was 37, okay? So I guess we have everything we need. Yeah, n is equal to 12. Okay, we know that n, n is equal to 12. So we know the 12th term is 37. So we can say that 37 is equal to the first term, which is 15, times a common ratio, which we don't know, to the power of 12 minus 1. So you can say 37 is equal to 
15 r to the power of 11 so we got 37 over 11 equals sorry 37 over 15 37 over 15 equals r to the power of 11 so therefore we can say r r is equal to r is equal to the you can say the 11th root of 37 over 15 11th root let me just make that neat it looks like an n now 11th root of 37 over 15. So that's something which um, I'm going to leave in this form because it's going to give me some big decimal. So I can leave it in this form and I can then use it to, to work out what uh, the fifth term is. So the fifth term is going to be um, a which is 15 times r which is all of this the 11th root of 37 over 15 to the power of for the fifth term it's going to be four mi 5 minus 1 which is 4. Okay so that will give me what I'm looking for. So let's have, have a look at this. We got here 15 times. And we got, um, let me put this in a bracket so that's clear. I've got the something root, this button here. That's the 11th root of, and I'm going to have 37 over 15. I'm going to close this bracket and I'm going to raise this to the power 4. Okay, whoops. I'm going to raise it to the power 4. Okay, so that's 15 times the root of 37 over 11 over 15. Sorry, the 11th root of 37 over 15 all to the power 4 or that part to the power 4, not the 15. And that gives me 20.829. So that's 20.829. 20.829, which is... Um, to one decimal place, one decimal place, that's going to be 20.8 kilometers. So in week five, he will run to one decimal place 20.8 kilometers. Okay, so that's the answer for part A and B. And now we're going to go on to part C. Okay, part C says Owen will continue. Uh, so Owen will also run a fixed distance x kilometers each Wednesday over the 12 week period. Given that x is an integer and the total distance that Owen will run on Sundays and Wednesdays over the 12 weeks will not exceed 36 kilometers, find the maximum value of x if he uses training plan A and then part 2 for if he uses B. So let's look at part A. So for part A, we had the first term was 15. We had the... Um, the twelfth term was 37. We had the number of terms was 12, 12 term, and we had the common difference was 2. Okay, those were the things that we knew from that particular sequence. Now, here we got to see um, he has to run a total of no more than 360 over all the 12 weeks. So what we need to do is work out what the total amount he's running under on, 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 the, uh, on the Sundays. Okay. And that total amount, I need to, um, you know, add whatever I need to add to it to make it 360. So 360 minus the total amount he runs on Sundays, that will tell us how much he's going to run on the Wednesdays. Okay, the difference, because he's not going to exceed 360. So the difference between what he runs on Sundays and um, 360 will tell you how much he's going to run on Wednesdays. Okay, so let's find the total now of these. So the sum of n terms of a arithmetic sequence is n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. There's also a simpler formula, especially if you know the last term, which we do, because there's 12 terms, we know the last term, and it's basically made up from this same formula. It's like the first term of this formula is a, and the last term of this formula is a, is, is a, time, is a plus n minus 1 times d. All right, that's like the nth term, that's like the first term, and you add them together, you get 2a plus n, n minus 1 times d. So this is like using the first term, plus the last term just makes it a bit easier uh, you know mathematically to work out so you have n is 12 so we can say the sum of those first 12 terms you can say the, the the sum of those 12 terms 12 over 2 times the first term which is 15 plus the last term which is 37 now this is only for arithmetic sequences not for any other type you can't use this formula here for a geometric sequence so this is going to give us six times that's 15 plus 37, that's 47 plus 5, 52, 
which gives us 300 plus um, 12, 312. So now we want to work out how much X is, which is the amount he's going to run on Wednesdays. Okay, so on Wednesdays, the total amount is going to be the total that he's going to run is going to be 360 minus 312. That gives you 88. Oh, it's not 88. What am I talking about? That gives you uh, 48, doesn't it? 48. 48 kilometers. 12, 360 minus 312. Let me. I'm going to store this answer, by the way, here. I'm going to store this answer as A. Okay, that was the answer we got of the last question. In fact, what I'm going to do is, let me see. What did I have here? Okay, what I'm going to do is actually this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to just use that part of it as well. Okay, I'm going to store this as B. In fact, store as B. This is like the common ratio. I'm storing the common ratio as B. That's for um, the last question because I think I'm going to use it for part B. So this is nothing to do with this question here, but I've stored it now. So I've got its exact value here. It makes it life a bit more accurate and easier. Now I'm going to do how I'm just going back now to this 360 minus 312. That gives you 48, as I said. So therefore, that's the total he's going to run um, for the 12 weeks. That means X is going to be 48 divided by 12, which is four kilometers. So that means every Wednesday, okay, it tells us here to find um, the maximum value of X. Yeah, so it will not exceed 360 kilometers. So basically, he can't go more than four kilometers. Therefore, it's going to be four kilometers is a maximum. That's how that's a maximum he can run so that he doesn't exceed 360 kilometers in total. So we found the total he runs under um, this plan for Sundays. And then we took the difference between that and the maximum he can run, which is 48. 48, that's the total for the 12 weeks. So each week, which is X, 48 divided by 12 gives you 4. That means he can run 4 kilometers maximum on every Wednesday if he's not going to exceed 360. Okay, now for part 2. Okay, so we have now a geometric sequence. So a geometric sequence, the sum of the first n terms is given by A times now, if the value of R is greater than 1, which I think it is, it was um, 37 over 8. So I'm going to put R to the power of N minus 1 over R minus 1. This is a formula which is generally easier to use if you have your R, which is bigger than 1. It's better to use this form of it. So we know here the first term, again, is 15. We know that the, um, the number of terms is 12. We know the common ratio is the 11th root of 37 over 15. Okay, let me just confirm that. Yeah, uh, the 11th root of 37 over 15, that's correct. That was the, the very common ratio. And um, A, that's all we need here. So we want to find the sum of the first 12 terms. Yeah, we've got that. The sum of the first 12 terms is going to be 15 times. You're going to have the um, 11th root of 37 over 15 to the power of 12 minus 1 over and you're going to have r which is the 11th root of 37 over 15 minus 1 okay so i'm going to put this in my calculator and work it out so i already have i already have some of this stored if you remember i stored this thing in a and this thing in b so i'm going to put 15 15 bracket and i'm going to recall a all right that's this all to the power of actually that was not a that was to the power of five so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take b actually so i'm going to recall sorry b um recall b okay b was the this square root of 37 over 15 and i'm going to raise this to the power of 12 okay and then i'm going to take away one 
close the bracket and divide by um, B, which is, again, I'm going to recall B. And I'm going to take away one from that. And that will give me 294.185. So that's 294.185. Okay, that's the sum of the first 12 terms of that sequence. Let's just make sure that we did everything right. 15. Yep, that's correct. Okay, so that means uh, what we have on, on Sundays, um, on Wednesdays, sorry, not Sundays, on Wednesdays, on Wednesdays, you're going to have 360 minus 294.185, which gives us, so under 360 minus this, and that gives us 65.815, 65.815 kilometers. That means that's the total on Wednesdays. That means X is going to be 65.815 divided by 12. So you're going to take this and divide it by 12. And that gives you 5.484. 5.484. Okay, so here it says, all right, it says find the maximum value of X. Now, X has to be an integer. X must be an integer, and he can't do more than 360. So if he does, uh, you know, he can't do uh, six because if he does six, it's going to be, oh, you know, the total is going to be more than 360. And he can't do 5.4 because it has to be an integer. So therefore, the maximum is five kilometers. Why? Because X is an integer. Okay, so that's five kilometers for plan B, and that's four kilometers for plan A. Okay, that's a maximum that he can run in both of them. Um, he could run more than this, but it won't be an integer. You can, be, you can go up to 5.4, 5. Point, whatever, just below 5.48. Um, he can do that, and it will still be under 360, but if he has to run an integer number, it must be five. And here, he can go all the way up to four because the answer is an integer when you did 48 divided by... 12. So there's the answer for part C. And that concludes question number 10. And that concludes this whole paper of January 2021. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. All right. So if you'd like to see other questions from this paper, you can click on the link that will appear somewhere in this area. Other questions from this topic of series and sequences, which is now all in P1. It used to be split between C, the old C1 and the old C2. Now it's all in P2, P2 now, sorry. It's all in P2 now. You can click on this link here. It will be for series and sequences. You can click on the link over here, which will take, which will, um, you know, if you haven't subscribed already, you will, can subscribe to with that link. At the top of the page here, you will find a link taken to a different past paper. If you would like to see the PDF of this paper, go to the description link on the playlist. The playlist will be found, uh, a link for it is, is going to be found here and also in the bottom of the uh, page in the description of this you'll find a, um, a link to the playlist and in the playlist you'll find the description takes you to um, the file the PDF file for this paper thank you for watching um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you understood and learned and I hope to see you soon